My name is Deborah Watkins, City Secretary for the City of Dallas. I would like to welcome you to our web-based electronic filing system for campaign finance reports. We are excited about providing you the opportunity to prepare and submit the required semi-annual campaign finance report electronically. In addition, you may use this system to file periodic reports. This video was produced especially to assist you in making the transition from a paper to an electronic version of the campaign finance report. This new system will eliminate the need to manually prepare, copy, and file the report in person, or to make a trip to the post office to mail it, thus saving time and money. This way, you can be assured you have met the requirement of timely filing the report in accordance with state law because you will receive a submission receipt. The video will take you through a step-by-step -step process with an opportunity to start, stop, pause, and rewind the instructions whenever you choose. The City Secretary's office staff will be available to assist you one-on-one -on -one in our office by telephone and email. You may also use designated City of Dallas computers at our local libraries to access the training video and the campaign finance report electronic filing system. For immediate assistance or information regarding this new system, please call our main number at 214-670-3738, Monday through Friday from 8.15 a.m. to 5.15 p.m. and ask to speak to our elections manager, Roseanne Jones, or our assistant city secretary, Rosa Rios. Or you can ask for me, Deborah Watkins. Hello, I'm Roseanne Jones, the elections manager for the city of Dallas. I would like to demonstrate the e-filing system of campaign finance reports. The first thing you do is log on to DallasCityHall.com at www.DallasCityHall.com. On the City of Dallas homepage, scroll down the left-hand column to Quick References. There you will see a link to the City Secretary's office. Click on this link. On the home page of the Office of the City Secretary, the second row in the middle of the page is titled Elections. In the Elections section, click on the link to the Campaign Finance Reports. At this point, it is very important that you turn off your pop-up blocker. If you don't know how to deactivate this feature of your browser, click on the link at the bottom of this page, Pop-up Blocker Instructions. After you have done this, you are ready to log on to the system. You can either select the Candidate Pack Office Holder link or the Log On Here link. This will take you to the Sign On page. On the Sign On page, enter the user ID that was assigned to you by the City Secretary's Office, followed by the password that you were also assigned. Then click the Sign On button. Now you must change the password that was assigned to you and enter a new password of your choice. After you confirm this password, click the Save button. You will then receive a message verifying your password has been successfully changed. Select the Main Menu button to continue. The main menu page displays the name of the candidate, which in this case is JQ Publix Group. You will need to click your filing type, COH, Candidate Office Holder, SPAC, Specific Political Action Committee, or UC, Unexpended Contributions. You will also select the type of report that you are filing. Click Create Packet. You are now ready to fill out Cover Sheet 1. The first time you log on to the system, you will have to complete all the information requested. The first section is Candidate Office Holder Information, which includes title, name, address, and phone. 
Notice that the program defaults to Dallas as your city and Texas as your state. After you have completed the Candidate Office Holder section, scroll down to the Campaign Treasurer Information section and proceed to enter the information requested. Enter the dates that the report covers, the beginning date and the ending date. Enter the election date if known. Enter the election type. These dates must be within the range allowed by the TEC instructions. Next, enter your current office position. If the office sought category does not apply, open the drop-down box and select Not Applicable. And finally, click on the Save Page button. Once you have saved the information, a message will appear at the top of the page indicating that your record has been added. Now you are ready to complete the schedules you need to file. Using the navigation bar at the top of the page, select the appropriate schedule. You will complete each schedule in the same way that you complete a hard copy. Let's complete Schedule A. Schedule A is for your political contributions. Enter the contribution date and the information for the contributor. Then enter the amount of the contribution. After this information has been entered, be sure to hit the Save button. A message will appear at the top of the page informing you that the information has been added. If, however, you do not enter a valid date for your type of report, the program will ask you to re-enter the dates. Scroll down to the table at the bottom of the page, which will display all the information that you have entered for this schedule, name, address, amount, and date created. Any time you enter invalid information, you will receive an error message. In this case, the zip code must be five numbers. Enter a valid zip code and hit the Save button. The information will be added. Once again, the table at the bottom of the page displays all the information you enter for the schedule. Here you can see the entries you just completed. After you are finished with Schedule A, you can complete any of the other schedules. The most common schedule is Schedule F, Political Expenditures, which, like Schedule A, follows the same format as the hard copy. Enter the information requested, starting with the date of the political expenditure. If you are filing for an organization, not an individual, such as the U.S. Post Office, you need to enter the organization's name but you still need to fill out the street address followed by the payment and the purpose of the payment. Remember, click the Save button to ensure that your record has been added. In addition to the verification message at the top of the screen, you can also check the table at the bottom of the page where the date of the expenditure, name, address, amount, and purpose are all displayed. Also, at the top of each schedule, there is a link to the instruction guide. This link connects you to the Texas Ethics Commission's instruction guide for the corresponding schedule. Additionally, for Schedule A and Schedule F, there is a link to import schedule data from an Excel spreadsheet. If you want to use this feature of the program, there will be a link to the spreadsheet that the city has provided. The information on this spreadsheet must be maintained in a specific format for it to be correctly imported. After you click on this link, you will be prompted to import the file. Select the appropriate file and click Upload File. Cover Sheet 2, CS2, is also displayed as a link in the navigation bar at the top of the page. On Cover Sheet 2, as you enter the amounts in Schedules A and C, these amounts will automatically be calculated and entered as total political contributions. As you enter the amounts in Schedules F, G, and H, these amounts will automatically be calculated and entered as political expenditures. 
Here you can see the amount that you added to the political contributions and the amount of political expenditures. You should always ensure that the information on cover sheet 2 matches the information you entered in all the schedules. On cover sheet 2, you must enter your political contributions of $50 or less if not itemized. You must also enter your political expenditures of $50 or less if not itemized. You must enter the contribution balance maintained on the last day of the reporting period. After you verify that the information is correct, click on the Save Page button. When you have finished entering your campaign finance reports, you can print a copy of the report using the Print Report link that is located right above the links to the schedules. You will then see your PDF documents. Be sure to review your information, and remember to allow your browser to accept pop-ups. Provided that all the information is correct, you are now ready to submit your report. Click on the Finalize Submit to City Secretary link. If you are not ready to submit, you have the option of returning to the main menu or viewing the instruction guide. Click the Continue button to finalize. A window will appear displaying the same affidavit on the cover sheet 2, item 19, on the paper copy of the campaign finance report. If you agree, click OK. Click Cancel to return to the previous screen. When you click OK, your report will be submitted in accordance with Dallas City Code Chapter A, Article 2, Section 15A, 8 through 13. After you have submitted the report, any changes will need to be made on an amended campaign finance report. The transmission of your report will send an email message to the City Secretary, Assistant City Secretary, and Elections Manager. They are responsible for placing this report on the City's website. When the electronically filed campaign finance report is placed on the City Secretary's website, the candidate officeholder receives a confirmation email. The elections manager will verify that the report has been placed on the website. You can verify that the report has been posted by checking the website at www.dallascityhall.com. After you log off, Go to the search page, enter your last name and the year of the transaction of the report. And that's all there is to it. I hope you enjoy using this new system. It is always a pleasure to present new and innovative ways of serving you, the citizens of Dallas.